Thank you. Welcome to a musical about the two scariest things ever, zombies and high school. This is Melanie. She's a nerd. It's her senior year. She's ready to ditch her braces and her place in the high school pecking order. She wants to join Cheer Squad. Watch the cute boy, and she's tired of her brains holding her back. Here she is, along with her idyllic town. Happy faces, smiling faces, peace and tranquility. We've also got an old scenic plot, convenient nuclear facility. Melanie decides that to get popular, she needs to dumb down, literally. She's going to expose herself to nuclear radiation. Her best friend, Sam, understandably has some concerns. I've been there, girl, and I know it's up. With the morons of the world always treating you rough. And they say if you can't beat them, you should join them. Girl, we both know that beauty fades. Do you want to be like them when the best of their days will be 30, 40 years behind them? Stuck in Hollywood cliches, yearning for their golden days. Fuck them all if they won't love you just the way you are. A terrific logarithmic, badass athlete, and a cosplay superstar. Nerd girls of the world unite. All you have to lose is your chains. If you'd only use your brain. Wonder what it's like to be given a chance to be held, to be kissed, even ask to a dance, to stand there in the spotlight as they cheer. Cut all the books and throw away the dice. Name a girl whose love for being nerdy and nice. I'll leave those awkward days behind me. To borrow from the girl I used to be when the adult can not define. What's the point of the ranks that make them think you lose your mind? Sam, don't be so blind. We're on the bottom rung. It's time to leave that life behind. The girls of the world unite. All you have to lose is your chains. If you'd only lose your brain. Spoiler alert, Melanie ignores her. The radiation turns her into a zombie. When she bites people, she turns them into zombies and can control them with her mind. Should she bite baseball champion Luke? But wait, Luke was crushing on her all along and envying her smarts. Ooh, it'd be nice, so nice, just to count to ten. Oh, come on, you're not that dumb. You let me cheat off the test in that. I remember when Who is he cool? Is he cool real cool? To know how to divide To have a look at you And know there's more inside How sweet! Except Melanie is slowly starting to decompose And her hunger for flesh grows stronger she bites a cheerleader and mind controls her into letting Melanie on cheer squad. But during the pep rally, Melanie loses control and eats the mascot! In the shadows watching is creepy, Doug. Melanie wants Luke. Doug wants Luke's girlfriend, the head cheerleader. Doug thinks he and Melanie should team up. With his cunning and her powers, what can't they do? They act like they own plates and make a lot of hell But just a little nibble and they're under your spell So take my hand and make a stand to face your indeed The creepers gonna creep Imagine I will be to treat you like you deserve God give you a gift and let me give you the nerve We thank him in your image, honey, just take the lead The creepers gonna creep you're gonna kill And I'm not saying you're gonna mourn Didn't want to get on to your squad, babe Me and say you're thinking too small You 
John, question. Hey guys, uh, yeah, I got a big one um, right off the bat. Talking about um, a lot of zombies on stage, I want to, it's kind of an overall kind of question. How do you guys plan on making the zombies like really um, like gnarly and co like competitive in the popular culture zombie world? Like, like how are we going to pull off like fake limbs and hats and things like that? Like, I saw something about decapitations earlier. Like, you guys, what, what are you guys thinking? I mean, I'm not gonna lie, like, this is a collaborative, you know, effort. We're story people, we're writer people. You guys are amazing at, at um, story, but also spectacle. We're not spectacle people, so that's what we would like to join for. Right, exactly. We, um, our background is, is writing and screenwriting. We're, well, we're, we're not theater people with that, but that is where we, that's where we're very excited to work with you guys. You guys were excellent, and your yeah, presentation was well timed. You ended with time to spare after, uh, after your, your time limit was over. And that's Thank the first you. Thing that I, um, I wanted to know what are you what are you going to do to organize uh, the mass zombie uh, presentation? Like, you're going to what are you going to do? Organize extras, or I don't know if you're going to use like film or something. But how are you going to organize uh, a presentation to get the mass zombie effect? Hmm, like, if we wanted to redo it. Uh, I guess we can have more like more extras, more people zombie swaying. We, we did at one point talk about the possibility of, of, of letting some people in the audience be zombies for a particular show. It's super easy. It's just walking on and working a pretty easy part to make interact with the audience. How many zombies are you using? Improv zombies. How many zombies? How many zombies? More than that. All, all, all zombies. Every zombie. Um, do you guys envision the cast being age appropriate for a high school type setting, or like how would that work? I think it's something where, if it wasn't done for a high school, we'd love to throw in lots of f bombs and stuff. But it's stuff that I think could be easily scaled back a little bit for a younger audience and for an age group. What do you think about that, Harrison? Um, uh, certainly, but I think I think even as far as the casting, um, yeah, um, I mean prob probably um, probably oh, yeah, pro 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 probably probably twenty is like e like every high school movie ever made. Right. 50 year olds, if possible. Yeah. Anybody else? Is that a question? Um, I have a question. Can you guys just um, really quickly tell me why you think this is a bros show? It's big. It's catchy. It has. It's not just spectacle. It has. It has like a beating heart. It cares. And which, which, which is which is what makes uh, you know beyond beyond all the effects. I don't think you guys do agree on the level. That is what makes uh, bros shows special. They are. They are so. They do have. They do have a soul. And that's and that more than anything else is what makes the bro show. Like, I cared about that composer getting his limb tacked off, and I cared about, you know, <laughs> the lesbian alien. And <laughs> you know, so. me too, me too. Uh, thanks, guys. All right, anybody else got a question? Okay, cool. Sending in questions. Erica, we got a quick question about the music. Um, I just wanted to know what kind of music do you guys have in mind? Pretty much, pretty much that's what we have in mind. Um, uh, and we, we, come, we, come, we both have very different views by who to bring to it. Um, Jamie is a Um, I mean, my favorite stuff is more like doo wop and punk and rockabilly, and Harrison seems more like um, like 70s pop and stuff. But um, we're also open to bringing other styles in, harder styles. Like, I think that's the, that's the joy of collaborating. Um, the, Key thing, key thing, key thing, key thing for us to do is uh, extremely melodic, extremely melodic is everything we have in mind. So I noticed with the lyrics, they have a lot of um, like really great references. Like I heard a cosplay thing in there. Um, what about the actual script itself? Does it have a lot of like geeky references and stuff like that? There's no script. Um, that's how that's how we both are as writers, though. Like sarcastic and self-referential and meta. So, so meta. All right, last question. <laughs> is is the uh, script for is the um, is the play complete or is there room for uh, room for improvement, room for? Anything? There's acres of room. There's no script. There's a there's an outline. That what you saw is what we have. Some songs are a little more finished. Cool. Thanks so much, you guys. Give it up one more time. Thanks guys, appreciate it.